don't bring your bag. <laughs> you say I feel just like your crack queen mother when she's sober. Mm. Mm. That I creak when I bend the way the house you were raised in did. You call me when the nightmares remember your address when your knees lose your cartilage and you need all of the meat on my bones to remind you somebody gives a fuck. Mm. What does this say about me? Willing to listen for hours to a man I know I am far from loving. Let me wear my shoulder down to the raw flesh and when you need me home, I don't correct you. I smile, shrug shoulders, satisfied with the shattered edges of your iris, with the fact that at that moment I am more tangible than God to you. There is nothing heroic about this. Nothing think me about allowing a man to break in my arms just so that someone can owe me the favor of affection. So that guilt forces you to return when the tempest has settled and your mother is just a faint memory about your childhood you hardly ever speak about. You see, I am Geppetto and you, my sweet Pinocchio. I expected you to ease my loneliness, conveniently forgetting your dream about being a real man, about your hopes of not needing me to entangle the strings. So I can stop waiting for you to splinter to come running back to me, apologetic and lost, begging to be told why you are what you are. There is something wicked about the way the hungry seek each other out. Hmm. The snipping of the hurt, the turning out of hearts, worn like cactus needle gloves, too much, un too much ugly in my willingness to answer your every call, in your voice trembling and lost. But how do I tell you this when you say I sound like the mother you never had? Hmm. My Medusa head is hissing, and you sing it songs so well. I no, I no longer know which of the two is the snake charmer or the puppet. Mm -hmm. And tell me, what does that truly say about either one of us? Mm -hmm.